Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today it's Will It Shave Wednesday. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Today is a shave inspired by Fuzzy. If you guys have watched Fuzzy's channel, you know what I'm about ready to do, possibly. He just did this shave the other day, and I tried to gather all the things that I had that he has um, or had in the video, but uh, let's just get on to it. Fuzzy, this shave's for you. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to be using my clog proof razor. And this does use a gym style blade, as you can see. If you're unfamiliar with this razor, it uses this style of blade. And if you don't happen to have that, uh, or for whatever reason, maybe you just want to try it and you have no reason, he used an injector blade like this. And I'm using the Persona. So what you're gonna do is uh, place that blade in there. I don't know, I probably can't do it and show it at the same time because I have my camera up a little high and I really don't wanna cut my fingers doing this. All right, so here we go. We've got it loaded in there. It's very important to get the edge of the blades setting behind those tabs on this particular razor and you're going to uh, close the razor. And <clears throat> when that cap comes down, it comes down and slides forward. So it's gonna try to help assist a little bit. And I'm just gonna give it a little extra snugging for the extra look. And he used a D-Pure puck that you can get at the Dollar Tree like this. I dug out one of my old ones that I've used in the past. You can see it's been sitting there. It's got a little bit of dust on the top of it. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, I'm not really sure what brush he used. Um, I'm going to be using my Samoog 830 bore brush. I've had that soaking here. I know he's got a bore brush, uh, the wooden handled one, and I'm just going to uh, do a little puck load in the hand because... That's what I want to do today. I don't want to do any scraping and what have you. Now, I know a lot of people, when I've used this in the videos in the past, have commented and said, oh, that soap really dries you out. I, I haven't found that to be true. Uh, and maybe if you sit there with it on your face for hours, it's possible. But uh, in my short shaves, the two pass shaves. I've not had any issues with it. And the quick remedy would just be to use a little bit of a balm afterwards, I believe. All right, so got that whipped up there. I do have two days worth of growth and a soapy hand. As you can see, the lather you know, made up pretty nicely. Not too bad. It's not anything to write home about, but it'll definitely get the shave done. I do have a washcloth here that I'm going to try to take off any of this excess off my hands because that can make for a messy shave. All right, got the razor loaded up here. Looks good, looks safe. Let's warm the razor up and get going with pass number one with the grain. Beautiful, no complaints, definitely works. I have not been into my local CVS or uh, local drugstore. They used to carry um, those mint, the blades for men, gym blades. And the last time I went in there, I bought several packs. 
and I haven't seen them recently because I haven't been in there. But if you've got one of these razors or any other style gym, you probably only want to use it in the one that it's not the ones that are spring loaded. I've, I've got one in the back. I can't think. What is it? 1912. I probably wouldn't try that in that particular razor. Just because I don't think the spring tension is the same as this mechanical tension. I don't think it would be unsafe. I just think worst case scenario, the blade might slide up in the tray. <clears throat> And then create an un. It's just not gonna shave. <clears throat> Working well. Makes me want to break out some of my injector razors and give them a try because it's been a while since I've used them. And you can see I'm running out of soap. Give you a little extra water in there. You can see that uh, brush does not have a whole lot of bristles in it. And that's where some people ask, you know, what's the difference on some of the other knots that I use in the brushes? And uh, like the super high density just has a lot more bristles in there. And it really comes down to personal preference. I mean, do you need that? No, this would work just fine. You could even get away with not even using a brush. It's all about what you like and what you want to comment on. All right, so let's get going with uh, pass number two across the grain. One of the things that Fuzzy was talking about in his uh, video was the checkout lanes at Walmart. I'm not a big fan of the self-checkout just because it's very frustrating that Walmart is going to pay an employee to stand there and play Candy Crush or whatever on their phone and not actually work. And heaven forbid you buy something that requires an age requirement like razor blades or rubbing alcohol or spray paint. They're always like, oh, you know, and you're like, I need some help over here. And I just, I don't get that. I. That's one thing that I kind of like about the mom and pop shops. You know, they're a little bit more uh, customer friendly. They want your business. Walmart, they care less whether you shop there or not. I mean, that's kind of the way that I feel about it. And then you've always got the uh, person at the door. And at my local Walmart, that person stands there and they can look right over this direction and they see everybody checking out. And so you've got the person standing there not doing anything, getting paid. And that person watching you check out. And the minute you walk past that to see them, they're always like, can I see your receipt? And I'm like, you just watched me pay. You just watched me grab my bag and walk out. I didn't pull the bag out of my pocket. It's not all wrinkly. It's a fresh, clean bag. Do you think I honestly tried to take some? It's just so frustrating to me. But that's the way it goes. All right, I'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water. I'll be right back. I always like patting down dry a little bit before I do my aftershave splash. And I had to dig in my box of goodies, and I had it. I've got the Gillette Series Cool Wave Crisp and Revigorant. This uh, scent to me is 
kind of hard to describe. Um, woo, and it came out a lot. To me, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, that Gillette uh, gel foam scent. Way too much. That's just the way it goes. Shave was uh, nice and close. Can't complain. And just to follow it up, I'm going to throw a little bit of star jelly, some balm on there to help lock in any kind of moisture that may have been removed during the shave. And that's it. A nice shave. Nothing fancy. That's what we're wanting to do is just knock it down. All right. Well, I can't remember if I said it or not. I'll put a little link to Fuzzy's channel. If you haven't seen his channel or heard about him, take a look at uh, some of his videos. I really enjoy watching them. Thanks for inspiring me to break this shave out today, Fuzzy, and it worked well. All right, you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on Sunday Shave.